We've talked a lot about the challenges of navigating the unemployment benefit system. Some Texans are still having trouble, while others are finally getting help they desperately need. Texans West Rappaport explains just as some have secured unemployment benefits, some additional help from the feds is dwindling. I didn't really initially think it was going to be a long term thing. From his home 45 minutes southeast of Austin, Christopher Mims now knows coronavirus concerns became a long term thing. The rental car company where he worked cut costs. Mims lost his job and his means to support his family of three. His unemployment claim was processed more than a month later, but he never got the five weeks of back pay he was owed. The payment that I was owed was almost $2,000. To make matters worse for some Texans, like MIMS, some federal unemployment benefits are running out. The federal government is ending a $300 weekly bonus, which the state distributed for six weeks. This program had always been temporary and was expected to last until funding ended, new legislation was passed, or the program expired. Though regular benefits will continue, the uncertainty paired with mounting medical bills add up to big worry. In MIMS's case, the Workforce Commission fixed his back pay issue and he's expecting a check this week. For the next few months, it'll keep us house, keep our lights and our electricity on, um, keep food in our mouths, um, which here coming up in about a week or two may not have been an option. We continue to hear from viewers almost daily who have not been able to reach anyone at the Texas Workforce Commission for months. Last night, KXAN investigator Jody Barr revealed that some people who have appealed unemployment denials have had to wait up to 18 weeks to get a hearing. The first level of appeal is called the Tribunal. TWC records show last year it took an average of 32 days for tribunal appeals to be heard in May of this year. Wait times doubled, taking up to 77 days. If there's disagreement with the tribunal's decision, the second step is to appeal to commissioners. Last year, it took 132 days on average for commissioners to hear an appeal. When the pandemic hit in March, our analysis of wait times climbed to 150 days on average. You'll find more of the appeals process right now at KXAN.com. Just click on the Investigations tab.